to Daily Flash. Fall is in the I air. I love it. Did you know that, Mitch? Oh, <laughs> my goodness. We have the perfect snack made with just a few natural ingredients, and they can be whipped up in no time. We're making a caramel apple dip. Do you say caramel or caramel? I'm glad you said that because I was. I say, this, I say caramel. Yeah. I want to say caramel yeah. for some reason. I don't know because I feel like I'm, I always say words wrong. But I say caramel. I think you can say it either way. You can say it either way. Caramel, yeah. caramel. Caramel, caramel. And either way, this is what you need. Here, yeah. here first off, before we jump off, you want kids to eat your apples, you know? This is the, you, the recipe you need to find out about so you can get your kids to eat your apples. The right. caramel sauce is a delivering mechanism exactly. for fruit. Exactly. Uh -huh. Get you some maple syrup. You'll just need about a quarter cup of it. Same goes for maple syrup and coconut oil. Uh, two tablespoons of almond butter. If you don't have that, peanut butter works fine. Little bit of salt. Some vanilla extract, about a fourth of a teaspoon. And of course, we need some of the apples and you have to slice them. And I'm yeah. gonna start slicing, okay? And I'm just gonna mix this stuff up while you slice, Mitch. And so I'm pouring in the coconut oil and then we've got this lovely stuff and then we're gonna throw in some peanut butter here. Jackson, can I say a really yeah. quick hello to my parole officer yeah. telling him, I know I'm violating it by holding this knife, but uh, I'm doing it for the, the greater good. You should have had the spatula. Is that what you're telling yes, me? Yes, uh, and actually he suggested that, but uh, I think we'll be okay. All right, you now once you get this, your, your, the best part about it is you can use your microwave or you yeah. can use your oven. Either yeah. way, it's fine. You want to get your microwave as you put all that uh, together and yep. melt all of it there only for about, what, a minute or so? About a minute or so. Don't forget a little half teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just going to throw that in there. And then a pinch of salt, you know, because everybody needs a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. And then you whisk this up real good. And the nice thing is the coconut oil will really break down the peanut butter. So, oh, goodness, I need a paper towel. And you can um, look at, can we get that shot from yeah. above? And you can see, like, it's already how, like, it's kind of a little bit of congealing. And yeah. eventually, once you get it in the microwave, it's going to look a little yeah. different as well. Get it in there. Um, now, uh, once you throw it in there for about a minute, be very careful when you get it out the microwave. That's right. Because it's going to be very, very hot. Then you want to add some salt on top of it. Mm -hmm. and just sprinkle a little bit of it in there as if this is already done. It's that salted caramel mm. that makes the big difference because a little bit of the sweet. Yes, and, and, and the, the salt. Yeah, oh, if you add you're that talking together. my game. Some people add the vanilla afterwards. Yeah. You can add it in there. If I, I add vanilla to everything, yes. first off. It, it, vanilla, I think, in my opinion, you can never add too much unless it's like aerosol and you know, and, <laughs> and you're on a flight. Is it, and, and you're on a flight somewhere, <laughs> exactly. All right, definitely want to make sure that they, you let this sit and cool down before you serve, okay? Because it's a big deal. It takes about five minutes. This is where you t tell the kids, hey, take five minutes and yeah, chill. Exactly. You say then, it like that. Then you get your beautiful presentation set up. Now, now, important to note, do not leave uh, this stuff in the fridge for too long because the coconut oil will cause it to solidify. So, but if it does happen, just let it sit out at room temperature until it softens Can back I say up it? Again. Can I say it? Yeah. It gelatinates. It <laughs> <laughs> All right, Very then good. once you get it out, you're ready to dip your apples. And, and again, you're gonna probably have a party uh, for the holiday season sometime. Oh. This, no matter what time of the fall it is, these are the best part. Oh, this is tasty. They're really good. Watch your double dipping, folks. Mm. Do you see how the salt makes a difference? Yes, this? a huge difference. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't be too afraid, and I know we're trying to kind of keep this a little healthy, but I like, I would throw a little butter in there. That's just me, though, because there's nothing better that smells so good throughout mm -hmm. the house is when you uh, just cook butter. I would just cook butter for mm -hmm. aeros like, just for aroma, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right? Anyway, this recipe, very, very simple, very easy to do. It's one of those that you definitely want to do with the kids because yeah. let them get involved mixing it together. And because of course, it's keeping easy it and pretty, it's extremely pretty easy. low maintenance, yeah. And then if you can get them to eat the apples, that's mm. what they're going to love as well. Do you part. have a cool recipe that you'd like to share? Mm -hmm. We'll let the world know about it. All you have to do is just drop us an email at yeah. flash at dailyflashshow.com. Or you can send it to us directly either way. We'll make sure that we let America know yeah. about your easy And we'll make sure that it's posted on the website yes. so that you can grab the recipe.